Welcome to Canvas Projects, a virtual program offering from the Pflugerville Public Library. I'm Meg Miller, an adult services librarian, here with another fun project geared to ages 12 and up for you to complete. Those who registered through the library calendar can pick up their material supply kits, and for everyone else watching, we hope you give these techniques a try. This month's project is a watercolor leaves canvas. Let's start with a look at the supplies being provided. So in our envelope this month, we have uh, just a really straightforward, um, you've got a about a half inch flat brush that we'll use to make our leaves. And then on our little six by eight canvas panel, I have already provided pre-added um, watercolor paint uh, drops on there. And that's what we're gonna use. Uh, you could do this project and the one that I found on Pinterest that was from the YouTube creator Merrimy Simple Crafts um, showed their paint dots still being wet. So that would give a little bit of a different technique um, look to the final product. For us, because we had to have them be picked up, our watercolor paint drops are dry, so you're gonna need um, one extra thing for this craft. You're gonna need a little dish or cup or something um, for some water so we can reconstitute our paint drops. Um, each of the five have three colors of green paint. So we have a darker mint green, we have a brighter sap green, and then we have kind of a, we have a sage green, so a little bit more muted. Each of those are here. Um, and then each of the ones have a different, and I tried to stay with kind of fall colors. Um, so we've got a yellow, that's our gamboge, and then um, kind of a, like almost salmon colored one that is was called spiced apple felt so perfect um, for this one I have a scarlet red for while here in Central Texas we don't see too many of them um, anyone watching from someplace where your leaves change color that always reminds me of fall leaves um, and then an orange red in the lower corner or in one corner and then finally in the center I was just gonna give the three green but as my favorite color, uh, I had to include a purple, and so this is a lilac. And these are just uh, the Arteza, or Arteza um, watercolor tubes that we purchased from Amazon. So those are the colors of paint that we've got on our canvas panel here. And really, like I said, we've got our brush, we've got our water. I'm even going to have a little um, paper towel here so I can clean my brush between colors, especially between leaves. Um, the dot sizes that I've given us are really pretty substantial, so very likely you may not even use all of the paint for uh, the one. You're going to want to take your water and your brush and get your brush pretty wet, like almost dripping. You can kind of see the little drops there. And then I'm just going to come right by my first dot, drop that water on, and just kind of pull some of that paint out. And because I'm looking to make a leaf shape, I'm kind of going up and out. And I'm gonna do that on both sides. If my brush gets a little bit uh, dry, I can come back for more water. And this is my lighter. And then as I start coming up to my next green color, and see there we get some more of that color in there. And it's really pulling just to those edges. Using the thin corner of my brush, I'm just going to pull some of that color straight down to give me my stem shape coming there. And then I'm going to go ahead and clean my brush. So really get that in there, clean it off so it's basically coming out clear because I want to come into this next green color. I can wait until um, my initial water, this is very wet still, dries somewhat, um, but I'm going to go ahead and keep going for the video purposes. So for this one, I'm actually going to start with my third dot, and I'm going to pull those colors from there. Again, just kind of coming up, off to my other side. We'll see how this one does. And then coming to pull some of that other green from my next dot down into my leaf shapes. I can even pull this, this sap green in to my other my lower leaves using that darker mint green to pull in 
again, I'm just going to clean between because now I'm going to come to my purple. I'm going to come green first and then purple. Oh, yeah, there we go. Get some of those purple edges to our leaf. And as this dries, you're going to get some different coloration. So I'm just pulling that purple into my leaves below. So I really get, we've got some really beautiful local leaves. And now I'm just going to come straight up, straight up. And that'll probably be my darkest leaf yet. Uh, these canvas panels are um, specifically watercolor, although I believe you should be able to, ooh, that was probably a little bit too much water there. No worries. I'm just going to bring my paper towel. So I've got a little bit of extra water there. It is going to take up my paint, so I'm going to come back with a slightly less damp brush and just come right back through and pop those colors out. So as you work on your own canvas, I would suggest starting on one leaf with maybe one color, giving that some time to set or dry, and then coming back later, and you can still pull from these other colors. Maybe add other leaves in there. Let's see what our orange red here does. Same fairly wet brush. I'm going to start with my orange and I'm going to give that my central shape. Maybe my little lines of the leaf. That's my bright orange red. Feels like such a fall color. Now I can come back with my greens. Coming in, and this time I'm not going to clean my brush between, just so I can get all those beautiful greens kind of really mixed in, pulled together. This one might almost look like a maple leaf with that nice green there. There's my, my sage. And you really, with a project like this, Funny, it almost looks like a face there. You can play around with your leaf shapes. You don't have to stick to a very traditional shape. See, we now we've gone from fir or from maple leaf to something a little closer to a fir leaf here. I'm just gonna bring this down. Give my little, and your leaf might look a little kind of different as you go through. Again, we can come back. My purple leaf isn't wholly dry just yet. I'm just going to extend this, come back around, and really pop those little details in after you get a little bit drier. If I just concentrate on that dot, that'll give me that color that I'm looking for, and I can come in and add those details in that I might want for each one of my leaves. Because our canvas was so small, our little six by eight, um, your leaves are fairly close to each other. So you may get some overlap. Oh, a little bit more water there. Bring this, constitute this guy back up. I love the flat brush for kind of this look here. So really just giving it that flat edge and pulling out. There. Pulling out that leaf shape. Can clean between greens if I'd like. This sage green is, is, is that muted green and it's going to take a little bit more to really kind of see it. There we go. Just pulling to the side so that I get that kind of fan shape. I can come out the other side with it. Oh, my spiced apple. There we are. I think that blends with the greens so nicely. Just such a fun color. I'm going to come up on this side of this leaf. J 
just enjoy this project, experiment, get the feel for how your leaves might look. I mean, turn one of them into a tree if you'd like. One of these, like as you really kind of pull that together, you're getting, and because it's the water, try tilting a little. Look at the organic leaf shape or even if you did this with some brighter colors, a few less greens, um, something like this would be great to do a very, and actually that's the, the project I saw the video of was a, um, a flower. So some dots together, get you a cool flower shape and doing other colors. So if you've got tubes of watercolor paint, that might be a project you can try. Thank you so much for watching. As always, we look forward to seeing what your projects might look like as they come through. And we will see you next month at our next Canvas projects. Thanks for watching.